Hey guys, it's Phaedra from AllThingsPhaedra.com and sometimes, not too often, but sometimes I get a little bit of feedback that uh, I don't talk enough about the way a car drives. Well, I have got the Jeep Cherokee Overland for the week and guess what? I'm taking it up to the beautiful beaches of Long Island, New York and you're gonna come with me. We'll talk all about the vehicle and all about the drive. I take you on a ride with us and as you saw we hit bridges we hit highway we hit traffic we hit rain we got to hit just about every condition between Maryland and New York so what can I tell you about the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Overland 4x4 I can tell you it's the top of the line of the Jeep Cherokee and I absolutely fell in love with it I didn't know that you could have a luxury version here and not only that but I beat the EPA estimates of fuel economy I averaged about 25 during stop-and-go traffic and 29 on the highway very smooth driving very comfortable driving but I want to show you what's on the inside because that's where I really fell in love. So let's take a look at the interior. This is really where I was pleasantly surprised by what the Jeep Cherokee Overland has to offer. And it could be because the Overland is what I would consider the luxury trim package. So what comes on the Overland is going to be this 8.4 inch color display touch screen. You'll notice it has Apple CarPlay and of course Android Auto and I really used it this time. I used it for podcasts, I used it for audiobooks, and I used it for the maps. It also has in the climate control heated and vented seats and it also has heated steering wheel which I did not need on this trip. Let's take a closer look at what else we have here. Now you can control the climate through the screen, but you can also do it manually down here. You'll also see your connections. This is how you connect for the Apple CarPlay. There is also a 12 volt power outlet here that you can use for charging. We'll talk about the select terrain in just a minute. I have a thing where I talk about storage a lot and there's a narrow slot here, which is perfect for your phone. I also slid my Easy Pass down in there. We've got some cup holders and just this narrow ledge here, which I guess you could use for sunglasses or putting your phone there. Then we've got the center console. You lift up with the first lever and you've got an easy access area. You lift up with the second area and then you've got um, a deeper compartment where you can put change. I don't know who uses change anymore. You've got another USB port. You've got another 12 volt port and plenty of space for your junk. I encountered plenty of rain on this trip. But winning the award for the weirdest compartment is this one right up on top. I don't know, someone tell me what that's for. Maybe your sunglasses, maybe for people who have to have their phone out of reach or else they're tempted. But there is some extra storage up there. If you did want a traditional space for your glasses, you've got one here. And while we're up by the roof, let's talk about this gorgeous full sunroof. It's called a full sunroof and it runs almost the full length of the vehicle. Overall, I love the quality of materials that were used in here and the leather seats. I can tell you after many hours of driving, they are extremely comfortable. I think they're some of the most comfortable seats I've ever had the pleasure of spending time in. Now let's head to the back and I'll show you what else this Jeep Cherokee has to offer. Like seats and seat belts and little tiny holes in the seat and random kids in the back. Now we're in the back and the driver rude has the seat all the way back with it all the way forward I'm pretty comfortable now I don't drive it all the way up but if the seat is all the way forward there is plenty of leg room however most people don't sit with it all the way forward they probably tend to sit with it more extended like this I can tell you from my back seat passengers that the seats are comfortable but if you're more than 5'9 you might be a little uncomfortable on a long road trip I can tell my son's been back here because He's turned on the heated seats. I think he's trying to roast me out. But you do have heated seats in the back. You have USB connections. That's a must for backseat passengers these days. And you also have a power outlet. I love that. And plenty of venting specifically for your second row passengers. Looking for cup holders. We've got those. They're in each door. They're also in the front as well. And then 
we have this nice console if you don't happen to have a third passenger in the back row seat here and plenty of place for your drinks and your arms. Now let's head into the way back. Now, remember I said that Overland badge indicates luxury top of the line trim and that's what you're gonna get with a power lift gate and then we'll see the cargo space. Now, you'll see remnants of my trip in the cargo space here and it's got a couple nice extras like a cargo cover. But one of the things that surprised me right away is how high up this cargo space is. And I thought, well, that doesn't seem like it gives you very much. So I thought we would explore a little. Underneath this mat, you've got a lift up area. This is where you have area for some additional flat storage. And then you're going to have your spare tire under there. Let's see. Now to get a real sense, let's put those rear seats down and see how much cargo space we really have. Now one thing that this doesn't have is a push button fold for the seats, but that's okay. All you have to do is pull this little lever and the seat goes down. The cargo cover pops out if you need it and then you've got your full cargo space here. Now it is a little shallower than other cars, so if you're looking for some heavy duty cargo space, this might not work for you. But if you're just the casual user who likes to put the seats down on occasion, this will work. And also note in the back, it's got some tie downs, it's got some hooks for your grocery bags, and it even has this 12 volt port over here. With a push of a button, the lift gate closes and let's talk about one more thing and that is that 4x4 badge. Before we put this to the test on the terrain, I thought I would just give you a quick walk around and tell you that this is a 3.2 liter V6 25 valve VVT engine. Now it's surprising that an engine like that would get such good gas mileage. It does have the stop start capability which I really didn't mind on this vehicle. What you're looking at is granite crystal metallic clear coat exterior paint and you're looking at gorgeous 19 inch polished aluminum wheels. It's got LED tail lamps, it's got LED headlamps, LED running lights, it's really a gorgeous vehicle. I love the profile. The only thing I don't love is why do they make wheel wells square? The wheel is round. But other than that, it's got a really clean line and you actually find a lot of them on the road. But the real question is, how capable is it as a 4x4? I first fell in love with the Jeep Cherokee when I tried the Trailhawk badge vehicle. That means it's rated for off-road driving and I took it off-road and I was shocked at how capable the vehicle was. So this is a 4x4. Let's take a look at what it's got to offer. So what you've got here is the Select Terrain Traction Management System. So most of the time it's going to be kept in auto but you can adjust it for snow, for sport, for sand and mud, and what that's going to do, it's going to pretty much turn off the traction control and make some adjustments in your driving. And we're going to drive through some mud and see how it handles. So what did you think of that? Those of you who think I don't put these vehicles to the test, you're wrong, and that vehicle was more than capable. Here we go, four by four in the mud. So the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Overland four by four. I hope I've shown you how much I really have enjoyed this car. Now, the last thing you need to know is the price. The base price on this is $37,775. It has a couple options, the technology group, the full sunroof, destination charge, we hate that, but it's necessary for a total MSRP of $41,000. 510. It's really an impressive car and I hope I impress the rest of you. If you like this video, please like. If you want to see more videos just like this, please subscribe. And you know what? Leave me comments. I always respond to all my comments. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.